Bonjour everyone. I am going to be making a jingle dress for you today. Um, I'm just going to be a two piece. It's going to be old style. And I'm going to use uh, the red Kukum scarf material um, to do that. I'm still figuring out what it's going to look like. That's kind of my process. I just kind of go um, with how it feels good, what looks good as I'm creating it. So you're going to see a little bit of my... Uh, the method to my madness, I like to say. Um, so you'll get a view of completely how I start and how I finish. All right, so what I've done so far is I am cutting three, I think there was three, one, one, one package was open. Um, so probably four or three and a half I should say so what I'm doing is I'm just knotting them so I take the end I knot it and my tabs I like them to be an inch and a half from the knot so I take the one that is an inch the one that is an inch and a half and I cut it to the same length and then I just continue to do that for however many jingles that you want on your dress. Um, this one, I think, I'm not gonna have a whole lot because I wanna use a lot of trims and, and stuff. So um, here we go. Three and a half packs of knotted cut tabs. They're all, they're all red because I'm doing a red dress. Uh, inch and a half long with the knot and then now now what I'm gonna do is um, cut the fabric to the measurements I'm not sure probably make the dress my size and then if I really really like it I'll keep it if um, other people really really like it maybe I'll sell it who knows <laughs> okay so what I'm going to do next is I have cut out rough <clears throat> rough rectangular shapes for each of the section that I'm going to do. So I'm going to iron them. And by sections I mean um, the torso, because it's going to be a two-piece, uh, the torso, the sleeves, and the skirt. So, oh, and the cup. So I have four rough rectangular shapes from the red cotton. So now I'm going to iron them and then I'm going to spray, uh, use an ad spray adhesive and put the cook and scarf material on it and then I will draw it, sew it, and then I'll search it. quite the task so what I did is I used a spray adhesive and I just sprayed them together I have them now folded in half so this is the skirt part the bottom half and I folded them so I have two lined up here and what I'm gonna do now is cut the shape of how I want the skirt of the jingle dress to be and then I will serge it together all right so here I have cut out a sleeve, so this is my little stencil template that I use for a sleeve. You can see that's one side, and then that would have been just the other side, fold it over. <clears throat> and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a spray adhesive, I'm going to spray this, and then I'm going to ever so delicately place it over top, the spray adhesive will keep the two fabrics binded and then I will fold it over. Once the fabrics are binded, I will take my stencil and I will cut out, trace and cut out the shape of the sleeve. So I would love to show you, but I only have two hands, so I am going to show you a Thank <laughs> you. 
So now I am using the tabs that I put, cut <clears throat> this morning. And what I've done is I've used just dollar store stick glue and I went and used um, a measurement of a one and a quarter inch and then just glued like that all the way across. <clears throat> I'm just doing straight lines. And then I am just placing the tabs on the strip of glue that I left on the fabric. Um, and then I will secure them by sewing them down after I've placed them all. Let the glue dry a bit. And then how I actually came across that this dollar store glue works well is that I usually use a white liquid glue, school glue also, but my son had used it all up and I thought that I wasn't going to be able to do it and it was late at night and I'm from a small town so stores had closed and I thought that uh, I was SOL. <clears throat> But then he brought me his little school, school glue, and he's like, Mommy, all I have is this. So I said, well, I'll give it a try. It worked <laughs> really well. So now, that's what I use. So I will place that side of the skirt there. I'll let the glue dry, and then I will draw the lines on this skirt here. And I will continue the process. I just use my my measuring tape, and I place it across. There's the glue. There's my measurement. There is my line that I want my line jingles to be on. So I start two inches from the edge, so that when I sew it together, the jingles aren't crossing over. They're not too close together. They stay within. And then I go by every one and a quarter inch. I make a little dab of glue. Topic change. The other almost never when I'm making you breakfast anyway. Oh, remember the last time you tried to make breakfast? Egg tartar. We have here the top of the jacket, and I glued the tabs down. You can see the line, and I sew down the middle of that line, so then the needle goes through all the tabs. And uh, I'll do that now.